Tired of your e-learning courses looking like everyone else's? Your learners are too. It is the articulate rise effect. Very popular, but also very predictable. It is time for a new authoring tool. Slice is a versatile and capable AI-powered authoring tool. But how good is it? To test it, I'll put it head-to-head -head with the industry standard Articulate Rise. Therefore, I'll create the same training module on both platforms and see which one comes out on top. Let's say it is a course about instructional design fundamentals for transitioning teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! I'll begin with Slice. Slice is AI-powered. This means I can start from scratch in a blank course or ask the AI to create a full traditional e-learning course or a single-page micro-learning. I'll go with the AI option. I'm gonna type the course's title and click here. After a few seconds, Slice proposes three ideas to pick from. Notice how its suggestions are skills-oriented. After clicking the one I prefer, I get a list of the proposed chapters or sections for the course. I can edit this now or I can edit them later on. I'll select everything and click the Slice It button to kick off the generation process. OK, now I'll switch authoring tools. Although RISE lets you choose between a full course and a micro-learning course, you always have to start from scratch because it doesn't help you create an outline. Obviously, the first round goes to Slice. Before anything else, I'll explore what theme customization options each platform offers, starting with Slice. All I need to do is click here. You can pick one of these three themes or you can create a custom one to better reflect the project's identity. In my case, I'll name it Branded. Okay, now check this. I can add a logo, change the course's colors, the fonts, the sub-fonts, edit the CSS and more but I'll go for uh, the standard pre-made theme. Let's now compare it with what Rise can do. To do this, I'll use the same units that Slice generated. Here are Rise's theme options. Rise offers a lot of customization options. For starters, you can select the overall theme from the three available options. Next, you can also customize the cover page appearance. The navigation menu in terms of its placement and its style. You can also adjust how the lesson headers will look like. The various colors of the course as well as what font type and size you would like to use. I believe that RISE offers more theme options so this round goes to RISE. I'll now explore the content elements these two platforms provide. I'll check out the different content blocks and compare the options they offer. But before this, take a look at what Slice did. Not only did it make the outline you saw earlier, but it also populated each section with relevant content. Nice, right? All right, back to the block types. Most of the content blocks are almost the same and are divided into categories. But Slice includes some unique content blocks. There is the conversation block, where you can simulate a conversation between characters. This is super handy if you aim for a storytelling approach or maybe simple scenarios. Then there are the freestyle and the interactive video block. The freestyle block holds many customization options. For instance, you can have an animated background with some text on top of it or maybe an image that contains buttons that link to a page. Or maybe you may have a piece of text with an intro effect. 
the interactive video block is truly magnificent. Those familiar with H5P know what I'm talking about. This block transforms any video within the training material by adding interactivity elements in the form of embedded questions or comments that appear while the video plays. This feature is completely missing from RISE and it has limited the way that we can use videos. On the contrary, RISE incorporates some key blocks that Slice doesn't. First, there are the charts. Having the option to add charts natively is extremely useful. More importantly than charts, RISE offers scenario blocks, which may not look impressive, but they are necessary if you want to follow a scenario-based approach. As a result, since both platforms offer something unique, this round ends in a tie. Now, let's discover how much you can customize Slice's blocks. You can adjust any block in terms of how it fits the screen by changing its grid. Additionally, when it comes to images, I can add them a parallax effect. Now, while I was editing this video, I was surprised to discover that Slice's recent update allows you to change the color of each content block or even add an image as a background, pretty much like Rise. This update was much needed and I'm happy to see that Slice included it in its set of features. Rise allows you to adjust the style of every content block, so I can select a custom color or image and I can also specify its padding. This is crucial for experienced and skilled e-learning developers who often decide to alter the feeling of a course using vectors. Again, as both tools offer some unique customization options, this round ends in a tie. Slice integrates several AI functionalities, whereas Rise doesn't. Slice comes equipped with chatbots that you may use to assist you. First, I'll create a new AI assistant. I'll give it some instructions on how I want it to behave. Next, I need to choose between ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude or some existing pre-made chatbots to power up this specific chatbot I'm creating. Next, I simply type or voice my question and the AI answers. I also find it super nice that I can turn the AI's answer into a content block or even a whole new chapter by selecting these options over here. Ok, let's make this a new section to see what I'm talking about. Additionally, Slice can help in generating and editing content. Here is how. By selecting a piece of text, the text editor appears. On its right, there is a little button called AI. By clicking it, you can access several options for the AI to come up with different variations of the selected text. For example, you can ask it to shorten this piece of text, rewrite it or expand it. It is certainly something worth experimenting with. What I like more is the fact that you can instantly transform the selected text into a content block. Maybe you want to support this piece of text with a quote or a video. All you need to do is select the convert to option and just like that, a video supporting this piece of text appears. My favorite feature is the convert to checklist, which instantly comes up with the key points of a text. So let's say you want to summarize a process. You can do that easily by clicking this button. As Rise doesn't offer these AI features, it is obvious that Slice gets the point. Slice also provides image generation capabilities. It comes with Midjourney and DALI models, which allow you to create your own visuals instead of relying on its free libraries. And just like that, Slice came up with the grid of images to pick from. Besides generating images, you can also edit all images within your course. 
cool, isn't it? Needless to say, the point goes to slice yet again. Each platform handles mobile responsiveness perfectly. Both allow you to view how your course would look when viewed on different devices. So yeah, no platform gets a point this round. Okay, you have created your course, now what? Both platforms can export a course as a web object or a SCORM package. Additionally, I like the fact that with Slice, I can add weights to the questions to further customize the passing criteria. Let's upload this demo course to a Moodle installation to see how it looks like. As you can see, everything works perfectly fine without any issues whatsoever. The navigation works as supposed to, the interactivity is there, so yeah, it works great. I'm not sure if any of the tools came ahead this round, so let's call it even. Unfortunately, Slice feels a bit buggy in some cases, even though it may not be. Although its interface is clean and the user experience is decent, some items need a bit of polishing to look slick and modern. For example, check this out. This button is not aligned correctly like the rest of the items. That being said, I believe that Slice's developers need to tweak a few things and improve its UX UI interface. This way, Slice will not only be great, but also look great. On the contrary, Rise is a nice looking tool where everything runs smoothly. This of course makes sense as Rise has been around for a while, so its developers had the time to fix any issues that their platform had. Therefore. This round, the point goes to rise. Alright, this round will decide the winner. What I really liked about Slice is that its developers put a lot of effort into improving it. On the other hand, a common issue related to Rise is that Articulate has pretty much stopped caring about it and has focused on its primary authoring tool, Articulate Storyline, as many people have pointed out on social media. Unfortunately, Slice doesn't offer an undo button, so if I make a mistake, I must fix it manually. On the other hand, Rise already has this capability, which allows me to bring back something if I accidentally delete it. Finally, one of the most important things that Rise offers is the review option. This is essential as it allows you to share a link to your course and people can give you feedback for each slide. This functionality is crucial but it's not available in Slice and its developers should definitely consider implementing it. Those minor details and features of Rise make it the winner of this round. And there you have it, after 10 rounds the battle ended in a tie. I compared Slice with Articulate Rise on purpose, as this is the most known and preferred platform that most e-learning developers use. This is because I find Slice ahead of the other rapid authoring tools out there. So comparing it with the industry standard was my only option. And actually, Slice lived up to the challenge like a seasoned fighter. In any case, whether you are a seasoned e-learning developer or a newbie starting now, I believe that Slice is a great choice for you. It is very easy to use, has a quick learning curve, it improves constantly with additional features and it can make courses that look good. Besides, Slice's AI features are super useful and of course time saving, from creating an outline and streamlining content writing to image generation. Truth be told, image generation is a whole new world, so if you want to see how to get great results from image generators like the one that Slice incorporates, do not miss the video shown on your screen. If you are a beginner, this guide is a must see. Till the next time, keep your guard up and your courses engaging. See ya!